best, but uh, I have nothing to prove. I, I play with no pressure. I'm just enjoying every moment. But uh, when people are cheering for you and 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 stop their whatever they're doing, their jobs or or to go watch uh, you play, I mean that that makes you uh, feel uh, good and 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 makes you uh, want to try it hard. For, and, and give a good show for that people. I'm Alvaro Beltran, get your M40 so you can play like me. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to our first match of the day. Canada versus Bolivia, I'm DJ. Joining me is the one and only Gary Mazarov. Gary, first of all, good morning, buenos dias. Buenos dias a ti. Can we match the energy from yesterday, I Dean? I think it's gonna be actually greater, to be honest. I think even though these are similar, quarterfinal matchups, doubles just is a different animal. Uh, and, it, and, and a different energy in the building and in the court. So I'm gonna go with yes. Okay, when that is accurate, our fans are in for a real treat. Well, Canada wins the toss, but one quick serve, side out, Bolivia. So the guys from Bolivia in the front, Conrado Moscoso has the ball. He's serving. He's in black on the left, and on the right is Carlos Keller, and in the back, the Canadian. I'm oh, sorry, Ro Rolando. Uh, well, <laughs> close. Yes, his, correct. His, his nickname is Coco. It's Coco uh, Keller. Given name is Rolando, his brother. Roland Keller, my bad. Uh, check that. Canada in the back, Sam. Mr. Big Canada, and on the right, Bobby Kawasa. I'll tell you, one of the things I'm really thinking of here is I've seen the play of both of the Bolivian guys play together. I have never seen Sam Murray play with anyone other than Alex Landa or Jake Bredenbeck on the pro side. Yes. I'm very curious to see how Iwasa complements him as the type of player that I think um, is still 0-0. Zero, zero. Yeah. So, uh, to see the type of player Iwasa is on the right side in doubles. Um, in my opinion, without seeing the match, I think Canada has the edge here. Moscoso's the better player, but I think the play on the right side is gonna make a difference. And I think Iwasa, Roland Keller, I'm gonna go with advantage Iwasa. Okay, we shall see. This truly could be a final. This is a quarterfinal, folks. <laughs> really a matchup that could be a final match. Yeah, see what see what Moscoso does. He shoots the ball from any angle, and he's shooting the kill. Uh, that one, he went chest high, went for the kill, but skipped it in. Point number one for Canada. Canada's up on the board, 1-0. Skipped in. Ha that's a side out so you guys in the chat box first of all thank you and I, I think I can say this right bienvenidos 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 amigos e amigas I'm getting there I'm getting there but I'll tell you I, like, I, like I said I, I can't say it enough here I'm very excited to see the play of uh, Kobe Awasa uh, on this type of stage The Elder Keller serving. <laughs> serving over to uh, Sam Murray's side. Different twist. Great shot. You see, that's the play that I know Sam Murray is all about. He won a tier one, closed up a grand slam, um, you know, but on the international stage, he hasn't really risen uh, to the high expectations. Um, but I think he's in position to do that, especially here in doubles. Keller, kill, right side. I'll tell you, Keller and Moscoso played in Florida uh, on a professional level a few weeks ago, and I see a different role of Keller right here. Uh. So far, we're at two serves, one. Two, one, Bolivia. Ball down. Ball down. 
We do have linesmen, I believe, right? Yeah, let me identi identify. Jaime Martel is our head official on the left. From Mexico. From Mexico. Two Mexicanas from uh, Diana Aguilar from San Luis Potosí is on the left. Susana Acosta, longtime uh, female Mexican team player. She is now helping us as a professional ref. She's lining on the right. She's from Chihuahua City. Look at the battle here going on already. Early. Gary, there's a lot of firepower on this court. First of all, we know Big Canada can swing. We know Moscoso can swing. But the guys on the right dictating play so early here. 2-2. Two -two. Moscoso pulling for two bounces, didn't get it. Good get there by Big Canada. Gonna have to call Kobe Owasa Little Canada at this point. Little Canada. Yeah. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, we're at the 20th IRF Racquetball World Championships. Now, the doubles impl implications here have nothing to do with uh, the World Games. That's in correct. That's correct. Singles only. Just so the fans know that. It has to do directly with how the teams and the gentlemen end up place wise, and that'll have a bearing on seeding for the next Worlds. We also have the Junior Worlds, the 32nd edition, uh, coinciding with this event, at least for four days. That'll go throughout next week. And we'll bring you all that action as well. Ah, that ball hit Roland Keller, hit himself. Wow. After Iwasa kind of evaded off the front wall. Good start for Canada, Dean. 4-2, game one. Yeah, very early for a doubles match. Doubles is, I tell you, it's almost, almost a guarantee to go tiebreaker. That's just kind of what the, the scenario I've been seeing lately from doubles play. Um, but you gotta play the match. I, Fourteen countries, folks, in this World Championships. Nine for the juniors. Five countries have elected not to uh, be represented in the junior event. And and who are those countries? Is Ireland we'll, one? We'll, we'll be back with that. Gotcha. Okay, it's Ireland, Korea, Japan, Dominican Republic, and the USA will not have a junior representation here. The other countries will, nine countries. Look at that court coverage by Iwasa. When a ball, of Canada thinks it's skipped, automatic appeal coming from Canada. Let's see. Overturned, so now Gary, if they get two appeals, that's not an appeal used because they overturned the referee. That, that's correct. Good to the if a call are. is overturned or there's a replay, it's not a used appeal. And they're entitled to three per game, two timeouts per game, uh, different from the U.S. Uh, and they're one minute in length. In the U.S., it's supposedly 30 seconds. I like the, sus the supposedly word. I love how you jab that in there. I like it. <laughs> well, we rely on the professionalism of the referees to keep control. And fortunately, here we do have that control. Absolutely. It's, it, it's evident, and I like it. These are paid, paid officials, folks. The highest tier in the industry. And they represent six countries. We're at 5-2. Pure pass right side, Iwasa. So many of you out there probably don't know that uh, Kobe was uh, gone for two years for a Latter-day Saints retreat. And he came back a couple years ago and qualified again for the national team. Yeah, I know. There was a lot of chatter about, you know, you know, why would you leave the game? He was just an up and coming rising star, but you know what? His faith, you know, prevailed and look what it did. It puts him in a in a in a better mental state here. 
so hats off to um, Kobe Iwasa. Absolutely. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, I want to say a quick thank you to the partners of the broadcast right here. One is the Zurich Foundation, also Court Wars from Mania Athletics, as well as Planeta Racquetball. They handle a bunch of things, you know, uh, about racquetball online. So we want to thank them for their support. Please check them out. Please like their Facebook or Instagram page. Um, we're streaming on Facebook only here, ladies and gentlemen. So if your friends are looking for the YouTube feed, it is on Facebook Live. Keller left it up, left it up again. Look at the power of Conrado Moscoso right there. So, two loose pitches by Keller, but uh, Moscoso from Sucre in Bolivia put it away right side. Winner for Canada. 7-2. Look at that little grab between the legs. Set up Alasa. Can't even get a racket on that. What a shot by Iwasa. Eight-cho. Ocho. Eight to two. So no, no response. Perfect. And look at that Z serve. The Z serve is deadly in doubles. That time, Moscoso didn't run around his backhand. Previous two, he did. Oh, it looked like it skipped. What a great start for Team Canada. 10-2. Murray, Iwasa trying to close his first game. Moscoso stepping up the game between the legs, point. So we're in the third quarter here, so to speak, in points if we if we break it into fives. And Canada with a nine-point lead in game one. It's 11-2. Two bounce get right there. Must Moscoso, what I like about Conrado Moscoso, he plays every game actually the same. He's just so nonchalant, he's always in control, always has his mind ready to go. Um, I, I really like the, the play from Conrado Moscoso. Yeah, you, you won't see him very animated most of the time. Reverse, Keller. Called it a skip, Conrado skip ball. looking. Three usable appeals per game, folks. Two timeouts per game, one minute each. A two minute break after games one and two. Two eleven in game one. Moscoso from the beautiful city, one of the capitals of Bolivia, Sucre. Keller from Santa Cruz de la Sierra. That will be the host city. Thank you, Sam. Oh, he's appealing. That'll be the host city of the Pan American Championships the week before Easter in 2022. They want a towel now. This is one of our numerous towel breaks. So that was an appeal used right there, Gary. I think there was it was one up and one down. That's one appeal used by uh, Canada. But it's not a replay, or is it a call stands? No. If it's a replay, it's not an appeal used. Okay. And if, of course, if it's overturned, it's not an appeal used. If one agrees, one disagrees, that is the lines person, then it is an appeal used, unlike the US. Gotcha. And that's good for the fans. They gotta know that stuff. You guys got rules, questions, questions about past events here? Put them in the chat box. Gary, I mean, unfortunately, we have Gary Mazarov here with a wealth of information, 
on rules, changes, um, a anything along those lines. Lifestyling, you <laughs> name it. No, no, no. <laughs> Sorry. Don't put those questions in the chat box. But I, I'll tell you, I said it the other day, Gary, it is an absolute pleasure to, to work with you uh, these last few, gay, last few days. Igualmente, senor. <laughs> point. I think you're going to see a little more Moscoso takeover right there yeah. as he gets point number four. Cuatro, sabiendo, once. One thing that Keller has going for him, Dean, is he's been on this stage for years. He's not all that old. I think he's in his early 30s. But he's been around for, it seems like, 20 years. And he's part of the Keller Vargas, Vargas family. Yes. They're related. There's a side out. That was needed for Canada. Kobe Iwasu. Alexis is playing in this also. Beautiful Alexis with the purple hair. Lovely young lady. So let's let's uh, at 12-5. Good little punch into the corner, make it 13. Kobe Awasa comes in at 25 years old, so young, and uh, Sam Murray's 28. They both hail from Canada as they take a timeout. Uh, so uh, Sam Murray is from uh, Brossard, Quebec, Canada, and uh, Kobe is from Lethbridge, Canada. We talk about the Bolivians. The Bolivians right now are at 26 years old for Conrado Moscoso and 31 years old for Roland Kellen. So Roland Kellen, 31 years old. Thank you for that information, Dean. So time out on the on the court at 13:5, Canada. So Dean, it's lead. it's about 2:30 Central Time USA, which is the same here in the capital, La Capital, Guatemala City, and we'll be streaming a minimum of three more matches today. So through probably mid evening, yeah. we'll be here. We'll be here, me and you. Yeah. No, so we have we have no tap-ins. There, tap there is there is a Denny's here, which is an all-night <laughs> restaurant. So maybe we'll have to go there. <laughs> Short serve. Canada two points away from taking game one. Somewhat of a surprise yet. We'll see what happens. The adjustments for game two. Good get there by Sam Murray. Roland Keller into the corner. Rolls one. Unbelievable. Oh. Roll out by Roland. This is the good get by, by Sam Murray. See how he fought through the, the traffic? I mean, you got big guys in there. Roland Keller uh, and, and Sam Murray, two big guys. Oh, flat. Two flat rollouts in a row for Roland Keller for a side out. Bolivia, now, oh, now six. Point. I'm sorry, that was a point. Correct. 6-13. Look, look at that pass by Sam Murray. Big pure, Canada. Pure left side pass. He's lot of, fantastic lot of, on that lot side. Of, exactly, a lot of... Uh, Left up pinches here. You never hear any complaining from Sam Murray either. He, he fights through traffic as we just saw. He plays the right way. He's got an excellent attitude. Point again. No response on the side of Kobe Iwasa. 
and Moscoso gets seven, point number seven. We're here at the championship court at the new facility here, Deportiva here in Guatemala City. Absolutely fantastic. This game is not over yet. Bolivia's making a gigantic push right here. Oh, Moscoso with a little body contact. Sam Murray's wondering why. Thank you to our fans that are watching. Tune in using the chat box. Hopefully we can answer some of your questions. And a personal note to a uh, lady in Colorado Springs who is helping us with promotions for our broadcast, Adriana Shear. Thank you for watching, Adriana. That name sounds so familiar, that last name. I wonder why. Well, her older brother is the czar, Dean Shear. Hola from Cal Calgary. I've been, I've been to Calgary. What a fantastic city that is. I think I went down the actual bobsled from the Olympics there. So, uh, how are you, Daryl? Moscoso, 8.13 now, climbing back in. This is not over for Canada. They really need a stop here. That was a bullet of a serve, but it was short. I've been fortunate to experience a lot of comebacks from Team Bolivia. So yeah, as you say, don't count them out. Canada needs to hold on. Crucial game for him. If you're in the chat box and you want Bolivia, put that flag in there. And if you want Canada, let's see the that big leaf. I think it's a maple leaf, I think. Look at that shot by me. Keller. That's Conrado's ball. But a good switch. But look at that little. I like how he took stuff off that, Gary. He really didn't over over swing, wasn't looking to power kill it. Just a nice flat roll out into the left corner. One of Murray's great shots. Yes. Good change up there. Point number 14. So see what happened there. Moscoso, who had been running around the backhand, Murray knew it, so he hits the jam in the middle. Caught and, him off guard. And Keller had to take that one. So game point. Look, goes forward, goes straight down the middle, center. No. He's asking for a court hinder. No designated court hinders, but in IRF play, uh, depending on the referee and his or her mentality, they, they can call one. And he, can he appeal it? Yes, it is an appeal. Yes, it is an appealable call. Oh my! Kobe skipped that one. Unforced error by Kobe. Point nine, almost double digits. Nine fourteen. So they only had one opportunity to win the win the game, and Bolivia held them off. He wants that one back, Dean. Yeah, he's, he, I tell you, he had three or four flat rollouts in that corner, and he didn't really miss much. I think that was his first miss, so kudos to the play of Roland Keller. Second server, 9-14, game one here at the 20th edition of the IRF World Championships. Gary Mazaroff, glad to be working with you, Dean Bear. My first time on the international stage, I have to say, like it. That's off. Broken ball, folks. That definitely was not a bon ball. <laughs> One of the few gearbox black balls that have broken. This is being the sixth day of this event. Yeah, I definitely want to give a big shout out to the Gearbox Black Ball. Visit them online, www.gearboxsports.com. They got plenty of 
innovative equipment and they support not only the sport of racquetball but many athletes as well. Short serve. So when the referee says segundo, that means just second serve? Second serve. Gotcha. For those of you officials out there. Or Ooh, he's appealing that. We'll be back to that. Wow, overturned. Bon ball. <laughs> so Dean, I was saying, those of you that want to be professional officials, always, always indicate second serve because that's when the 10 second timing starts here we go second opportunity for game one wow kobe awasa finishes off game one with a nice little pinch into the front wall side wall rollout game one in the books ladies and gentlemen 15-9 gary will take a break we'll talk to these players they'll take a break and let's take a quick look before we take a break look at this back no keep it up keep it up let's take a quick look of the a little replay here. This Kobe, a nice little serve, but he, Roland went, kind of cut it off into the middle, and Owas is right there. Moscoso can't get it. Perfect. Yeah, Roland didn't get the angle he wanted. He wants to go more wide angle. He was uh, too tight on that angle. And look where Kobe was, right in the middle of the court to end the rally. Yeah, this is that other one, that one beautiful overhand. There you go. Great, great replays. We'll take a break. We'll be back on the International Racquetball it's Federation. It's all about passion. I think... Uh, I don't have anything to prove anymore in the sport. Uh, at the beginning of my career, I wanted to be one of the best, but uh, I have nothing to prove. I, I play with no pressure. I'm just enjoying every moment. But uh, when people are cheering for you and 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 stop their whatever they're doing, their jobs or or to go watch uh, you play, I mean that that makes you uh, feel uh, good and 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 makes you uh, want to try hard. For, and, and give a good show for that people. I'm a little in front, get your M40 so you can play like me. It's, it's all about passion. I think uh, I, I don't have anything to prove anymore in the sport. Uh, at the beginning of my career, I wanted to be one of the best, but uh, I have nothing to prove. I, I play with no pressure. I'm just enjoying every moment. But uh, when people are cheering for you and, and, and stop their, whatever they're doing, their jobs, or, or to go watch uh, you play, I mean, that, that makes you uh, feel uh, good and, and, and makes you uh, want to try hard for, and, and give a good show for that people. I'm a little in front, get your M40 so you can play like me. Bienvenidos, amigos e amigas. Welcome back. Game two, Bolivia serving between the legs. Went for broke right there. So we'll see what adjustments Team Bolivia under the tutelage of Juan Carlos Tapia, their coach, make for this game, Dean. Point one. One thing might be that Moscoso takes over four shots. Two may be on their serves. Yeah, I mean, believe it or not, Roland was really holding his own there. Um, I, think, I think in game one, the advantage was Murray over Moscoso. I don't think the play on the right side you kind of made the difference in game one, like I, like I thought it would before the game started. And Team Canada made fewer unforced errors. I think that was unfortunate just there, he whiffed it. Yeah, but I think he touched the ball because right away, as soon as the ball passed him, Kobe was going for it. Yeah. But the referee, Jaime Martel, stopped him. Mid-air. That's a penalty. Absolutely in his backswing. Roland wanted to take that kind of early. It's a good call. Yeah. 
0-2, game two, Roland Keller. Santa Cruz de la Sierra in Bolivia. You, you were right before, 31 years old from Roland Keller. Conrado Moscoso shares the same name as his dad who has been Team Bolivia coach for many years from Sucre. Conrado covers that front court well, but I mean, nothing you can do with that shot by Sam Murray. Folks, this is quarterfinal for the men's doubles. The winner will earn a medal, no less. International play, two bronze medals are awarded as they do not play off for third place. Both Canadians on the same side. They, now they switched it up. Roland takes advantage of that miscommunication switch and shoots it right at the feet of Kobe Awasa for a handout. Second server now, Sam Murray, big Canada in the front. I hope his mom is watching at home. Was fortunate enough to meet her in Florida. What a fantastic lady. Little too much angle and pace on that. Well, I should say not enough angle on that Z, but uh, more pace than he wanted. Rebound off the back wall. Left side, pinch winner. Easy shot for Roland Keller right down the line there. Colby's behind him. Point number one. One, two. Bolivia serving. Ace. Great serve, great serve. Wow, you rarely see an ace like that in doubles straight down the line. Veered that. deep off that right side vidrio, the glass. Difficult to pick up. So, backhand pinch left up. Forehand pinch right side winner by Team Bolivia. Look at the score. Now it's 3-2, Bolivia. Two-point run. We have the switch again from the Canadians. And a nice, I don't, I don't want to use the word screen block, but Roland Keller was kind of in the lane of that. Kobe Awas is behind him, out of position, couldn't see the ball. That was, that's his problem. Correct, absolutely. Front foot fault. Ball, uh, the foot has to be all the way over that front line, which is called the service line, folks. Roland taking over. I said it before, the play on the guys on the right, that's gonna make a difference here. And we're at 5-2. Roland really taking, uh, scoring points here in game two. On, a gr on great serves. Skip that in, I think that's point number six. Whatever Juan Carlos Tapia said, whatever he said during the timeout, it's worked. 6-2. Game two. It's almost time for a timeout for Canada. Well, I think one more point, you might see that. Sam had his hand up on that serve. I don't know why. Double fault. Whatever, it's a side out. Roland's coming to ask. Jaime Martel, Chihuahua, Mexico. Great player in his own right and a great referee. 
Deanna Aguilar. That was appealed and overturned. Deanna Aguilar and Susana Costa, lines people. So it was overturned, they'll hold on to the serve. Replay. Visual hinder. He held up, honored by Martel. So let's go back to that appeal for a second because I actually got a little confused. I think the referee called short and it wasn't. And he stopped play. And I think that was what the appeal was. So if the lines people overturned it, they thought it was a, le a legal serve, but not down. If, it, if they thought it were an ace serve, they can award a point. If they thought it was retrievable, so it's second, ser it's second serve again. Yeah, it was returned. Canada did get the serve, but I think the referee stopped it dead. Good point. So good clarification there. 7-2. Team Canada won the first game, 15-8. They find themselves with a five-point deficit here in game two. Yeah, this is a seven-point run for Bolivia. Canada was in the lead, 2-0. Keller, right side, ball down. There's the flat one again. Make I, that 18. I told you, the play of Roland Keller Where's Against Owasa, that's the key here. Where's when's the timeout? I thought it would be right now, but clearly I'm not Canadian. <laughs> Michel Gagnon has been around Team Canada for 30 years. He knows what he's doing. There, there we go. <laughs> Told you it was coming. <laughs> timeout by them. We'll take a break too. We'll be back on the International Racquetball Federation. It's, it's all about passion. I think uh, I, I don't have anything to prove anymore in the sport. Uh, at the beginning of my career, I wanted to be one of the best, but uh, I have nothing to prove. I, I play with no pressure. I'm just enjoying every moment. But uh, when people are cheering for you and 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 stop their whatever they're doing, their jobs or or to go watch uh, you play, I mean that that makes you uh, feel uh, good and. and and makes you uh, want to try it hard for and, and give a good show for that people. I'm a little in front, get your M40 so you can play like me. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, Dean Bear, Gary Mazarov, the IRF, the 20th Racquetball World Championships. This is men's doubles quarterfinal matchup, Bolivia versus Canada, game number two. Game one went to Canada, and now we're in game two. Gary, that was one timeout by Canada. So they have one remaining in this game. Conrado, uh, Sam Murray jumped. He was distracted. No call, skip ball, side out. He can't miss that. He's, he's gotta make that shot, Gary. They're up, they're up 8-2, confidence is flowing. You're not gonna get a freebie. Again, the shots from Roland Keller. He's blasting them, Gary. One quote of the day, my friend Dean. No freebies. Yeah. Down ball. Canada needed that point right there. Three serves, eight. That was an 8-0 run for Bolivia. Actually, what I expected here in game two, I expected uh, Keller and Moscoso to come out guns blazing. Oh, Sam Murray is going to appeal that. It's, that's past him. So the call is replay. Call is, call is a replay, appealed, overturned, point, Canada. Point scored, 
no appeal used. Four, eight, and, and rightfully so. I think that was a, a, a good appeal for Canada. Sam knew it right away when he called a, a pass ball, called a replay. Sam's like, no, 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 right away. That's, that's contact kind of early. You call it unavoidable. I'm yeah. surprised, Dean. Previous serve, Let's what was... Look, look at this. Early contact. What was successful in game one for uh, Canada was the jam in the middle, and then he comes back, they score a point, then he comes back with a high nick lob to the right side. Surprised. 8-4. Talk about the ebbs and flows of the racquetball game right now. We're stuck in one right about now. Foot fault. We're, we're stuck in a, in, a, in a Canadian flow right now. There's a, there's a cold front coming from Canada towards Bolivia right about now. Coming down from the Arctic. <laughs> they need a push. Or game two is gonna be over pretty quick. Skip ball. There it is, side out Canada. Great defensive inning for Team Canada, 4-8, game two. Good pass, ball. but a nice get. Oh, Sam Murray's gotta see that ball, he's gotta make a break for it. So, three serves, two by Bolivia, one by Canada, no points scored. Very interesting. Going back with that, Nick Lobb, right side. Replay again, appealed again. Was that one up, one down? One up, one down. So Canada has used an appeal. Two left. Yeah, that was similar to the other one. Uh, and it, it, the, um, the line judge on the left side has the perfect vantage point of that to, you know, and to, to the, the line judge on the right side, you know, she has a lot of people in front of her. So, you know, her, her view might have a little more crowdedness in it. And therefore she, she thought, you know what? He had a chance for that ball and he, she called the replay. <laughs> Skipped in, Point Canada. Great Five. Nick Lobb right side there, Dean. Deep. Yeah. Ball took its, would have taken a second bounce to 39 feet. Keller tried to shoot it and put it into the floor. Kobe set up. Good grab by Iwasa, set up. Escoso down the line, Murray spins. I think that's a replay that hit the front camera. So that's hashtag just a replay. 5-8. I, like, I like the spin around by right here. See the spin? He, he sees the whole court. Not a good shot, to be honest, if it, if it hit the front wall that high. Well, going back that to happens. Roland Keller. So. Broken ball. With the pace these guys hit the ball, it's, it's amazing that more balls don't break. You know, um, I mean, the balls are made fantastic, whatever whatever company they make them. This one's is the Greer Box Black, um, but they're hitting the ball a ton. So after a while, I'm sure, you know, the wear and tear in there. I don't want to be that well, ball. Well, if, if you and I were. <laughs> we can use a ball for if three we, weeks. If, you know, that too, but if, if we were hit for that long too, we would break. Yeah. Look at this. It's set up here. Sam Murray's gonna shoot this, 38 feet. Flat rollout, Murray down the line. Point six, six serves eight now. Canada, here's that cold front coming down from the north. Going to get 
Oh, Sam Murray didn't take a full swing. Uh -oh. Great. Oh. I really Great. thought Sam Murray held up there. Really, he kind of took a half swing. He really didn't follow through. I don't know why. He had plenty of room. Yeah. Moscoso <coughs> felt both uh, Canadian players converging up front. He went with the wide a angle pass for a winner. Keller now serving. So if you remember, it was a 2-0 lead, then 8-2. Now we're at 6-8. Replay. I don't... I couldn't see what it... It may have had contact. On the way up on the on the round the world. Yes, sir. So 8-6. Segundo. Second serve. He's been going with that. Izila. Keller, that is, and he skips that one in. Skipped it in. Very uh, pendulum swing uh, Roland Keller has. Kind of comes under the ball. Uh, and if you don't hit it, if he doesn't hit that perfect, it's going to skip. He's swinging under. There's one of those photon serves. Unfortunately for Moscoso, it came up short. So let's, go if, let's see if he goes with the Z left. He does. Wow, flat from Sam Murray, the bigger Canadian. Big Canada serving, 6-8. So the beginning of the third quarter here is certainly in favor of Canada, Dean. Good pick up there by Little Canada. Wow, flat into the corner. Autographed that corner, Moscoso, because he hit it absolutely perfect. Ooh, I think he's checking the ball. Did it break? No. Keeping the ball away from Conrado. Pass ball, all down, side out. So again, Bolivia must have served, Gary. Didn't really keep track, but has to be at least three, maybe four times serving without scoring a point. That's huge. Is it a timeout, Bolivia? It is. <laughs> Good timeout for Bolivia. They'll take a break. We will too. We'll be back on the International Racquetball Federation. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Dean Baird, Gary Mazaroff. Once again, I want to thank the sponsors of the broadcast, one being uh, the Zurich Foundation, Mania Athletics, and the and, and very special shout-out to Planeta Record Bowl. I want to thank them for supporting the broadcast here. Um, check them out on Facebook and Instagram. Um, they definitely did, they're really just trying to bring racquetball and players and events and any type of racquetball story, trying to get that out there to the world. Dean, we see that Team Bolivia is changing their shirts. The referee can mandate for safety, fair and safe play. Canada if that, also. If that ha and Canada. But it's, a, it's an, uh, an official time. It's not a used timeout for either team. That's one of the differences between U.S. and uh, yeah. international play. But from what I've seen, too, a lot of play comes, a lot of the, the diving comes from the shorts and the, lay, and the knee pads. And 
and those are never changed. Wow, he hit that a ton. And Sam Murray was all over that cross court once again. Again, Gary, so another serve by Bolivia without scoring a point. Very, very interesting fact there. No value. Short ball. This is, ladies and gentlemen, match one of either four or five. Uh, when it, we didn't get the official word yet. Folks, notice the Team Canada, they changed their shirts to the white. They have to be identical. Both players have to be identical with their uniforms. The same for Team Bolivia. There's a point for Bolivia, point number nine. Very, very important point. Again, they served, I don't know, probably 10 or 11 times without scoring a point. Much needed for Team Bolivia. Right at Roland Keller, skipped it in. So now both players, both teams are kind of have a white shirt. Does that matter, Gary? It can. According to the rules, the referee can make one of the teams change. Although if you look at the design on each, it's certainly apparent to me that there's a difference here. Correct. It's not difficult. But there are times when they should mandate one of the teams to change colors. So, Gary, I have to say, uh, there, there's a message in the, ba in the box from uh, Racquetball Canada, uh, and I think it's worth repeating here. They just want to give a big shout out to the IRF and the Guatemala hosts for all their work in bringing us together again. Very important. Racquetball is together again. Very well said, Racquetball Canada. Hats off to you, our friends from the north. Look at that return. What a return from Kobe Owasa. Ball down, hand out. Looking for a towel timeout. Little sweep of the floor. Iwasa, Kobe, Murray, Samuel in the back. First priority, folks. Control and safe and fair play on the court. Wow, what, that was an absolute bullet. Point number 10, double digits for Bolivia. So that's two points scored now since they were stuck on eight for a really long time. Much needed point. Dean, for our viewers, if Bolivia does close this out. Buena bola right there, bon ball. If they do close this out, the tiebreaker would be 11 points. What a shot right there by, that was flat. Roland says, let me check that ball. I don't know if you have a magic ball or not. Not much else to say on that, Dean, but wow. Yes, point number seven, seven ten. Iwasa now starting to heat up. That's not good for Bolivia. Ooh, that hurt Sam. <laughs> So that's that's a uh, fault serve, folks. When you hit your hit your partner now, your partner's in the box, so therefore it's okay. Correct. In the box we're talking about is that if that if he triangle. if he were out of the box, two things could happen. One, it could be an out serve, or if the ref called it earlier before he struck the ball, then it's a it would be a hand or side out. It, no, it would be a fault serve. Oh, just a fault serve? If, not if a... that would be a foot fault. Okay, gotcha. Z serve from Murray. Flat rollout from Bolivia, side out. So two fantastic pinch rollouts by Bolivia. So now going back to that point, now that's a difference of a rule from, from US play because a US play would be a uh, side or hand out. If, if, if the ref calls the foot fault, if you and I are a team and you serve and I'm out of the box, stop, footfall, second serve. 
Okay. If I get hit by your serve outside, then it's an out. Uh, we lose the rally. We got ourselves a rally right here, ladies and gentlemen. Ball up. Fantastic play. Moscoso in the corner between the legs. Murray. Good save by Keller. Goes bottom board, skips it in, Moscoso. But listen to the crowd, Gary. They appreciate that lengthy doubles rally. That's what we're talking about with doubles is the rallies are insane. Look at that one between Sam right between <laughs> the legs. And a great ceiling ball. So there's the key. You know, not only did he make a fancy shot between the legs, but what he did with it was a nice, effective ceiling ball brought Roland Keller deep into the back of the court. Fantastic. Conrado wants a, <laughs> another opportunity on that shot, Dean. <laughs> Meanwhile, it's 10 7. Look at that grab by Roland Keller. <laughs> Roland Keller, the all the way right there, ladies and gentlemen. Absolutely fantastic play. So Murray left up the backhand pinch. Keller had the wherewithal to end the rally right side with a pinch. Point Bolivia, 11. Once, subiendo, seis, seven. 11-7 seven. Seven on our scoreboard. The players are getting a towel timeout. Wiping up some, some of the court there. Very, very, the, the, the shot of that rally, Gary, was the pass and Roland Keller tracked it down, barely got a racket on it, hit the back wall, front wall. Fantastic play by these athletes, and they are athletes. One of the things I'm noticing too, Gary, is the footwork from Conrado Moscoso, how fast he serves and comes out of the box. Absolutely. I, I, I've never seen anyone come out that quick. <laughs> Ooh. Skipped in, he wants that one back. That was an easy shot for him. Unforced error, just like he did on that other uh, mid-court into the floor about three points ago. So that hurt Murray again, that's a false serve, second serve. Yeah, the key, the key for Canada is to drive that ball deep into the back of the court for Keller to kind of either give them a setup or skip. Moscoso tracked that one down. The coverage there. Roland was there but didn't get a racket on it. Dean, these athletes understand tendencies. When Iwas is putting that high lob up to Keller, Tendency for Keller is to try and splat it. Watch Murray move up to cover. Three walls. Eight eleven, game two. Make that nine eleven. Skip. Wow. Canada inching closer. Remember that gap? It was eight two. Short serve. Keller, if possible, may be better served to try a wide angle on one of these returns. <laughs> Keller put that one down. Front wall, side wall kind of cracked out. Wassa can't get a racket on it. Half out. Players, each players get to serve if you're new to racquetball, just tuning in, except on the first serve of the game. Flat as a pancake. Off the short hop, rolls it. That's such a difficult shot, Gary. To take a short hop and rip it with precision. Moscoso. Keller serving, four more points for game. If they do close it out, there'll be a two minute break, so don't go anywhere, folks. Wow. Great shot. 
Inside out forehand on the right wall. I'll tell you, I told you before, it was earlier in this game. It was all Roland Keller. Same thing here. Moscoso keeps it alive, but watch, watch Keller. There it is. It's like a baseball hitter Pass going Bolton. to the right side of the infield. Yeah, not many players do that. <laughs> but what a fantastic shot. Again, the play of Roland Keller, I think, has to be key here for Bolivia to push this to a tiebreaker. Players checking the floor, wiping their eye guards, keeping it safe. What a treat for the first match of the day, Gary. <laughs> if this is any indi indication for not only us, but the fans, you guys are in for it. So Bolivia serving 11-9, four points away from going to a tiebreaker. Roland Keller, Santa Cruz, Bolivia. Wow, Kobe Awasa read that. <laughs> Unbelievable. Talk he, about quick feet, Dean. He read Moscoso's reverse pinch like <laughs> so quick. He was ready for that. Canada with two quick kill shots. Unfortunately for Team Bolivia, that was an empty inning. <laughs> Can't afford it. Very empty. They've had a lot of them here in the second game. They had a very big lead, and Canada literally just chip, chipped away at the... They, they had an iceberg ahead of them, and they were just really chipping away. I think that hits Sam again, second serve. It's very important, ladies and gentlemen, if you hit your hit your partner right there, is to double check the ball, make sure there's no wet marks on it. Was is going to go with that high lob nick. Keller's going to let it bounce. Oh, bad bounce. Good grab by Moscoso. I don't know what Sam Murray thinks that was, that was two, two, but it was it was a absolutely great get. Murray, <laughs> Keller. This is going to come off the back wall. Reverse pinch, winner, best shot in doubles, Gary. Reverse pinch from Roland Keller. And a fist pump, my friend. And well deserved. Folks, stay tuned here for three more broadcasts today. 3.15 p.m. Central standard time in the U.S., same for Guatemala City. I think that skipped. That's a point. Canada, double digits. No, they're at 10. This is the bottom half of the draw. The winner of this match will take on the winner of, of uh, Colombia versus Argentina. Shai Manzuri and uh, Diego Garcia against Mercado and Gomez. That's another skip. That's another point by Bolivia. Empate, 11, igual. 11-12. Bolivia's got 12. Segundo set here. Replay. I tell you, I don't know why. Canada had two nice serves over to Roland Keller with skips, scored some points, and then they elected to serve over to um, Conrado. Uh, I'm not sure of the logic there, Gary. You got something successful, it's working. You know, they're putting all the pressure on Roland Keller. And then they serve it right into the wheelhouse of Moscoso. So they listened to you and went back to Keller. Set up off the back wall for Iwasa. A rare ceiling ball by Moscoso. Two bounce get by Conrado Moscoso. Canada ties it up, ladies and gentlemen. This is a race to three, Gary. It is. Right now. Only got to get to 15. Don't got to win by two. Again. Back to Keller. Back to Keller. That's a two-bounce get there. Nice redeemed. I like how Conrado went over to Roland, reassured him, you're my partner, I'm with you, I need you, and, and Roland responded. 
Love it. Kudos to Bolivia there, Dean. Uh, time out, as we see, but before we break, kudos to Bolivia for limiting the bleeding. Yeah. So and they're down by one when they come back. Actually, they're tied, are they not? Yeah, they're yeah, tied they're at they're 12, tied 12. That was a good timeout for Bolivia. They're serving, and yet they called the timeout. Um, so once again, let's stay, Gary. We'll, we'll let the fans know the other matches of the day. Sure. So the men's quarterfinals, um, like I said, this is one. Mercado and Gomez from Colombia are taking on Shai Manzuri and Diego Garcia from uh, Argentina. On the top half of the draw, draw the number one seeds, Marin Montoya from Mexico, will take on uh, uh, Felipe Segrede and Gabriel Garo from Costa Rica, as well as um, Ecuador is Cueva and Igaldi. We'll, uh, we'll take on the Americans, Charlie Pratt and Alex Landa. Those are the four quarterfinal matchups for the men. And I'm gonna pull up the women's matchups right now. There's four women's matches as well. And uh, we will have some of them. The top half is Longoria and Salas from uh, Mexico taking on Chile. Carla Munoz and Menzilla. And then we have Guatemala, Rodriguez and Martinez taking on Ecuador. Maria Paz and um, Sarmiento and Sonia. Sarmiento. So these guys are back. Look at that. That was a replay. Si repite. That was a quick break. Bolivia will take on America on the women's side also. Z serve. Skipped in. So, Dean, what happened there? Reverse Z by Keller. Not a great angle, came off the back. And Canada won that rally, so it's a handout, 12-12 again. Empty. Bolivia looking to push this to a breaker. Good grab by Roland Keller. Set up. Look at the hands from Conrado Mosquera. Flat rollout by Roland Keller, point 13. Set up real well, Dean. Didn't rush that shot. Had that right corner available and took it. Absolutely. Again, I think that shifts back to Conrado Moscoso, giving him the confidence after skipping a couple balls, um, you know, keeping him in the game. He needs him. Set up Keller again. That was against the wall, flat rollout, broken racket by Carla, by Roland Keller. He, he, he flat rolled that ball he with a broken it, racket. And he broke the racket okay. simultaneously. Absolutely fantastic. What so, Dean, this is not a, uh, a player or team timeout. Equipment replacement in IRF play is a referee timeout. Yeah, they don't have any timeouts either, so good thing. Good rule. <laughs> and, and that's also for safety. Uh, a player playing with a racket with a broken string or a broken frame could, could hurt another player. Now there's one exception to USA play. If there are no available timeouts for a team, then the referee will award a referee timeout. They have 30 seconds to replace that racket. Correct. Now, Canada trying to stop the bleeding. They call a timeout, and we have to stay here. We'll because stay here. Let's uh, talk a little bit about the tournament. International Racquetball Federation World Championships to biannual event. This is the 2020 event because of COVID. It wasn't held last year. Therefore, the next tournament will be next year, 2021 in an odd year. And where's it going to be? Is there a destination? Next year, yet? it's likely to be in uh, San Luis Potosi in Mexico. So in San Luis Potosi? Yes, sir. And what about the juniors? The it, juniors? It, these, these events are not usually held uh, simultaneously, correct? No. No. This may be the first time it has been, just because of conditions around the world. Correct. So uh, the juniors are likely to be in, uh, guess what, Guatemala City. Coming right back here, the juniors? Fantastic. Players are back on the court. So we got our first game point opportunity for Bolivia. The team of Conrado Moscoso and Roland Keller serving for game two, looking to go to a breaker. 
Is it, do I see a crack ace coming? Oh, he tried for it. Look at the bodies right there. He did go for that crack. <laughs> but what a what a good get by Sam Murray. So they collided. Sam Murray's kind of dead, grabbing dead ball his head. replay called first serve. Yeah, Sam was kind of pulling for his hip there. I don't know if that contact kind of twisted him a little bit. Rolling. Front wall, side wall, roll out. Game two in the books. He's going to look. Wait, they're appealing, looking for a replay. Agreed. Call stands. Quick one. Quick appeal. Appeal used. Game over. Bolivia pushes it to a tiebreaker. We will take a break, and we'll be back for the breaker on the International Racquetball Federation. It's, it's all about passion. I think uh, I, I don't have anything to prove anymore in the sport. Uh, at the beginning of my career, I wanted to be one of the best, but uh, I have nothing to prove. I, I play with no pressure. I'm just enjoying every moment. But uh, when people are cheering for you and, and, and stop their, whatever they're doing, their jobs or or to go watch uh, you play, I mean, that, that makes you uh, feel uh, good and, and, and makes you uh, want to try it hard for, for, and, and give a good show for that people. I'm Alvaro Beltran, get your M40 so you can play like me. It's, it's all about passion. I think uh, I, I don't have anything to prove anymore in the sport. Uh, at the beginning of my career, I wanted to be one of the best, but uh, I have nothing to prove. I, I play with no pressure. I'm just enjoying every moment. But uh, when people are cheering for you and, and, and stop their, whatever they're doing, their jobs, or, or to go watch uh, you play, I mean, that, that makes you uh, feel uh, good and, and and makes you uh, want to try it hard for, for and, and give a good show for that people. I'm Alvaro Beltran, get your M40 so you can play like me. It's, it's all about passion. I think uh, I, I don't have anything to prove anymore in the sport. Uh, at the beginning of my career, I wanted to be one of the best. But uh, I have nothing to prove. I, I play with no pressure. I'm just enjoying every moment. But uh, when people are cheering for you and, and, and stop their, whatever they're doing, their jobs, or, or to go watch uh, you play, I mean, that, that makes you uh, feel uh, good and, and, and makes you uh, want to try it hard for, for, and, and give a good show for that people. I'm Alvaro Beltran, get your M40 so you can play like me. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Tiebreaker action. The 20th IRF Racquetball World Champions ships here in Guatemala City, Guatemala. I'm Dean Baer. Joining me in the booth is Gary Mazaroff. Gary? Dean, another quote of the day from Alexis Suasa. Quote, I sweat more when I watch Kobe play than when I play. Oh. Now look. We got, we got men in black again, shirt changes, number three. Canada wearing all black. Bolivia has black with the yellow, red, and green of their flags smeared all over. Love it. Canada strikes first. That's a se repite. 
Canada strikes first, 1-0. Dean, as a player, a teacher, a coach, I'm always keen on seeing what adjustments have been made other than a shirt change. Let's see if we can pick him up for this tie break. Kobe Awasa was right in the swing of Conrado Moscoso. I'm going to agree with him. He might appeal that, which in early in a tiebreaker at 1-0, Gary, knowing they, ha they have three in a tiebreaker also. Yes. See, so, so then I would appeal. He is agreed. Call stands. He did appeal. Subtle things right here. The call was made. The referee should say, that's my call. Let's play. This is a delay of game. Yeah, but I think the first question to the referee was, okay, I, the, the call is not the hinder, but they, they want, they, are they entitled to a, a slight clarification of the call? He should make the call. If there's a rules uh, concern, then they, they can ask for a t an interpretation. If it's a perception issue, no. That's my call, let's play. Now they can appeal. Skip ball. They can appeal. Yes. Agreed. So what do you guys think in the chat box? Mike Barrett is, is rooting for the brothers from the north. So he's rooting for Canada. Thanks, Mike, for your input. But we got a lot of what a man. Thank you, uh, Hurricane Batista from Texas, tuning in. Love him, to be honest. Beautiful friend of racquetball for sure. Flat rollout from Roland Keller. Point number one, uno, uno. Once again, folks, 11 points, win by one. Two timeouts available, three appeals, usable appeals. Good diving get there by Moscoso. Roland Keller asked for something. No call. He's planting a seed in case they lose the rally to appeal. Wow, three wall, side wall, side wall, kill. Conrado Moscoso pointing to the ceiling. I don't know who's up on the roof but he's giving him a big shout out as he gets point two. If you know Moscoso, you know who it is. <laughs> wow, went for the crack again. What a great serve to Sam. And that was flat rollout, heating up Conrado Moscoso. Two fist pumps, one from each player, Team Bolivia. That's deadly if you're Canadian right now. You don't the, want to see those Bolivian fist pumps. The big Mo has shifted. <laughs> Short. Next up on the championship court is Colombia versus Argentina. Men. Again, they got to keep the ball away from Conrado Moscoso right now. He is on fire, Gary. Could be a good time for uh, Canada's first time out here. Even at 4-1, you might be right. Oh, went for the crack again. He's hitting it. He's gonna call that a replay. That hit the sidewall, went to the middle, and Moscoso was going diving down the line. No chance at that ball. I, I, well, I, I'm gonna disagree with that replay. Although Canada, Team Canada has, isn't appealing it. No, they already lost one of their appeals, so they're already one down. But still, the difference between a, a side out uh, versus a replay and Moscoso having the ability to serve again that might be great. It's, I would take the risk. It's gigante, amigo. So I would take the risk if I'm if I'm a Canada. But not didn't happen. See, even 12. in the chat box, they're saying appeal. Segundo. Short Second. serve called. Second serve. See if he goes. No, he's not going with the Z.
Straight into the ground by Roland Keller. There's the side out. Just what Team Bolivia wanted. Great nick, weak return, and Keller unfortunately oh, floors the ball. Kind of, kind of rushed that shot off, the, off his own racket there. We'll be going for the crack also. We got a uh, fantastic tiebreaker so far here, Gary. Shot by Kobe Awasa. He had the setup off the sidewall, went cross court, straight into the wheelhouse of Conrado, and he buries it. He's got to stay down the line and attack Roland Keller. That was what's working for them in game one and most of game two, also. That's the same thing. Again, what's been happening here in the tiebreaker, Gary, has been the Moscoso show. Kill, kill, kill shot off the racket of Conrado Moscoso. And Keller's holding his own on the right side. Absolutely, and that was the key. 4-1, game three. Set up, Conrado, right down the middle. Murray's there, Sir Ripite. Just a replay. Pretty Let's good. see if he goes back to the left side there, Dean. Probably not. Pretty, pretty good crowd coming in here so far. Saturday, Buenos Aires in the afternoon. There's a crack ace, Roland Keller. So I stand corrected, probably not. He goes back and he hits the short crack, ace, 5-1. Can he do it a third time? He does. And a great return. Broken ball. Ooh. No wonder why Moscoso stopped. <laughs> Much to the chagrin of Team Canada. So Team sure Canada, Team Canada needs to hold their composure. Yeah. Get back in and fight their way back. Get to the dominance that they showed in game number one. Yeah, it's only a four point lead, but it's definitely a momentum. The momentum is, is flying in Bolivia's favor. That ball hit his partner in the box. Fault serve, second serve. Goes back to the half, half Z lob. He's also thinking two bounces. Skip into the corner. Again, I'm gonna go back to the return of serves from Kobe Awasa just in this tiebreaker alone. Every single return has been cross court to Moscoso. It's not working. It's gotta and, change that. And not with the greater uh, with the great angle he needs. He needs a wide angle. He's not getting it. Because of as you say, Moscoso's hands are so quick and he he anticipates so well. So he'll go back to the Z here. No, hits the high lob. Tried to fake him out, there's a good setup. That was a good get. Ball live. Just because he got that one, Sam kind of dialed it down, tried to go a little bit lower, and skipped it in. Well, he, did, six. he did go lower. Yeah, <laughs> straight into the ground. But because Moscoso got that other ball that Sam you know, thought was two bounces, it was clearly a good get. Ball was live. Skipped again, point seven. Where's their gotta time, have out? time That's coming right now, here it is. Let them take a break and we will too. We'll be back on the International Racquetball Federation. It's, it's all about passion. I think uh, I, I don't have anything to prove anymore in the sport. Uh, at the beginning of my career, I wanted to be one of the best, but uh, I have nothing to prove. I, I play with no pressure. I'm just enjoying every moment. But uh, when people are cheering for you and 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 stop their whatever they're doing their jobs or or uh, to go watch uh, you play, I mean that that makes you uh, feel uh, good and 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 makes you uh, want to try hard for and, and give a good show for that people. I'm Alvaro Beltran. Get your M40 so you can play like me.
Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. So Gary, very interesting question in the chat box. If, if the team has no appeals left, similar to in USA, can they appeal a match point or a game ending point? The answer is bada -bada -bada. no. You, you, don't get, you don't get an extra game ending one. You have to have one available. Short ball, there you have it. Thank and you that, for your And that's question. a coaching concern. That's why you need to be careful when you call these timeouts. And appeals. Correct. And appeal. Thank you. Let's go. So going with that high lob nick again. Sam steps back. It's going to be a give a setup plum for Moscoso. Swing and a miss. Conrado Moscoso. <laughs> Proverbial wallpaper ball. I think he thought he had a little more room. That was a good timeout. That was part of the 70% for Canada. Long. How do we say long in uh, Spanish? Larga. Larga. Or in Japanese, you go long. Go <laughs> so. Look at the hands by Sam Murray. That skipped into the corner there. Point Canada. They needed that one, Gary. 2-7. Two straight rally ending shots. One got him into serve. One got him a point. There's a flat rollout by Canada. Make Reverse that pitch. three. After the timeout. Good timeout. Kobe was all the swing and a miss again. But he touched it. Point Canada. Make that four, Dean. Also, we asked at the outset of the broadcast, can we continue the energy from yesterday? And the answer is? Yes. Yes. And you can see uh, those points have all been made against Moscoso. He had the swing and a miss. That's going to be a, unavoidable. The, the, all the points have been coming on the left side against Moscoso. We had kind of one that hit him. One was a swing and a miss, uh, and then a couple of flat rollouts by Murray. Oh, terrible ceiling ball from Kobe Owasa. Never a good one to skip. Didn't set up. Took for granted that he's going to get the ball deep. Ball never arrived at the front wall. Bolivia now back in the service box at 7-4. Look at that get by Roland Keller. Good hands and a reset by Moscoso. Oh my! Almost, he says. Sam Murray calling skip right away. Is he Uncanny, Dean. Two-handed backhand pinch left side. 8-4, I thought Sam was calling for a skip right away. Maybe his coaching staff waved him off, but we have 8-4, and Bolivia is starting to be on fire, and they're chanting. They were chanting before, Bolivia. Quick, Ro quick Ro turn of events here in championship courts in Pressure. Guatemala. Pressure for Canada here. And, uh, oh my, ball skip, but broken ball. Ooh. When we return, it will be 8-4 again, first serve. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, huge sponsor of International Racquetball Federation is Gearbox. The official ball of, gear, of the IRF is the Gearbox Black. Check them out online, www.gearboxsports.com. I want to welcome uh, one of the hogs, Jerry Anaya. Brutal, Jerry, brutal. Was that a, called a point? He called it a skip? No, 8 4. Still. You've got an appeal. Disagree. <laughs> one up, one down. Is that a replay? So that's a replay.
So Sam's wondering why it's not a replay. Kobe doesn't have his racket ready to go. He should have been just make like you're gonna swing at it and you would have gotten the, uh, the penalty hinder. That's correct. It's not automatic. 8-4. You have to assert yourself. Great serve, great serve. Skipped in, however, they did call that an avoidable on against Moscoso, I mean for Moscoso when he was tracking the ball. His racket was also down when they had all that, that hinder, so that should have gotten that call. Meanwhile, it's 9-4, two yeah, from the match. Timeout, Canada. Let's, Gary, let's stay here again uh, and talk to, to these fans here about what an amazing day we have. Want to remind everybody of the match. Uh, the match coming up next, that's fine. The match coming up next is Mercado and Gomez from Colombia taking on Manzori and uh, Diego Garcia. Also, uh, Mercado will be playing in the single semi. Tomorrow. Tomorrow, so will Conrado Moscoso. Absolutely. Then we'll have a ladies match. Then we're gonna finish off the night with two ladies doubles match. Bolivia again, taking on USA. Uh, Ronda Rasich and um, at Erica Mania will take on Mika Mensis and- uh, Angie Barrios. Angie Barrios, exactly. And then we're gonna finish off the night again with Canada. Lambert, Dr. Lambert. Lambert. And Alexis Iwasa. Iwasa with and the purple hair. And they're also going to take on Argentina, uh, Natalia Mendez and Valeria Santayas. So that two fantastic women's matches to finish off the day. Uh, but right now we have one men's, another men's coming up. There'll be four more matches on side court. But here we are, ladies and gentlemen, Bolivia, two points away at 9-4, serving their first server, Roland Keller. Oh. Let's go, so skip that one in. Hand out. Conrado would like that one again, Dean. Not gonna get it. Second server, Moscoso. Previous point, he two-handed it right in the corner. This time he two-handed it into the floor. So it's a 50-50 shot <laughs> for him. <laughs> yes. Let's go, so now, so going for the crack. Not a good time for a kill shot on the serve. <laughs> Taking his time, high lob. Sam's cutting that off. Good grab by Roland Keller. There's Kobe again going cross court. Skipped in, point. Ooh. Kobe Iwasa again going cross court right to the backhand of Moscoso. Yes, and, and, and as part, uh, Murray had it in his wheelhouse to reverse it, but he put it into the floor. So now we have match point number one, folks. The winner Absolutely. goes to the semis. Match point. Good pick up, set up, Moscoso, dead center, into the corner, backhand, reverse pinch winner for Conrado Moscoso. Bolivia will move on, Gary. Is that the finish we expected from match number one? Yes, yes, they were favored. K Team Canada played a great match. They had the momentum and they sustained it in game one. Team Bolivia with their coach, Juan Carlos uh, Tapia, they made some subtle adjustments and they were able to continue the momentum through the tiebreaker 11-4. Two games to one in favor of Bolivia. They'll move on to the semis of the men's doubles in the 20th edition of the IRF Racquetball World Championships. Once again, let's remind everybody, coming up next, Colombia versus Argentina should be another good one. Um, the crowd is here, the players are here, the teams are here, we're here. The energy is here. The energy is in the building. I will definitely agree with you. Now, I'm not sure if we're gonna try to get Conrado Moscoso and Roland Keller over for an interview. I don't think it's gonna be possible. Um, they're, there's, they're crowded over there. Um, let's, let's wrap it up here. We'll reset the feed. We'll be back. Colombia versus Argentina. Argentina on the International Racquetball Federation. It's, it's all about passion. I think uh, I, I don't have anything to prove anymore in the sport. Uh, at the beginning of my career, I wanted to be one of the best. 
but uh, I have nothing to prove. I, I play with no pressure. I'm just enjoying every moment. But uh, when people are cheering for you and 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 stop their whatever they're doing, their jobs or or to go watch uh, you play, I mean that that makes you uh, feel uh, good and 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 makes you uh, want to try it hard. For, and, and give a good show for that people. I'm Alvaro Beltran, get your M40 so you can play like me.